Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden shoes as always. Got some money play runs for you today. Uh, I, have, I mean, I've been in the Packers playbook for so long. I just keep finding more and more stuff. Uh, and I know I'm really trying to make a conscious effort of putting out, like, Saints plays. I really should start putting out some more Raiders plays as well because I know there's a lot of people that use those playbooks. Uh, so I'm trying to do, like, a weekly video from the, for those particular books. But I can't help myself. And considering the fact that I'm using the Packers, I'm just finding so much gold when it comes to the Packers. So today, like, like I said, got a run scheme. I'm going to have some passing plays as well. Uh, although the passing plays, the majority of them will probably be on my Patreon or my Join Now community. So I'll link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. The formation that I'm going to be focusing on today is the Gun Stack Y Off. Now, this is a very unique formation. I like uh, formations like this. This was probably added to Madden maybe like two years ago, maybe when like the, the, the monster uh, formation was popular. Not a lot of people use this stuff, but there's some really glitchy plays out of this uh, that I'm going to focus on today. And you can see there's really only three run plays. So I'm going to go ahead and put all three run plays in my audibles. The RPO alert screen already is. Uh, that's already in the Y route there. Then I'm going to put the zone fake jet. And then the big one, my favorite one, which is going to be the jet pass fake zone. Now this is technically a pass play. But to me a pass play, I consider a pass play something that the defense has a chance to stop. Where this is a, essentially it's just like a, it's not really a, a handoff per se. But uh, like I said, to me it's more of a, of, a, of an actual run play and that's how I'm going to build this as a three play run scheme although there's definitely a lot of passing elements with the RPO zone alert as well. The last thing is you're going to want to make sure you have your best athlete at this position. To be honest with you, I didn't even check that. I think that my best athlete on the Packers is probably going to be uh, maybe scalding. You want to have good change in direction too. That's something that's important. Uh, so speed's important, but you definitely want to make sure that the change of direction or their agility is pretty good because a lot of the way you're going to run this play is really going to be based off of that. And I don't know. I mean, I almost feel like maybe I should just stick with Devontae Adams, even though he's not the fastest guy. On my mutt team, here we go, change of direction. 91 for Devontae Adams. Like I said, that's going to be important. So we're definitely going to want to keep Devontae Adams in that spot. Before I get into the video though, I just want to say this video is brought to you by my sponsor moxp.com if you guys need coins for your mutt team i know a lot of people just bought the game black friday and you're trying to catch up with everybody else check them out link in the description below use my code money shot to get five percent off if you've used them and had success shout them out in the comment section it's an easy way to get your comment pinned in one of my videos so getting right into the reads uh there's really only two reads on a play like this when you have those huge gaps um, it would make a lot of sense to go ahead and switch over to the, either the RPO or the zone fake jet. But I still feel like the jet pass fake zone is going to be one of the better ones, even against this play. Because basically, if you're just kind of reading the tight end, if the tight end is outside of their furthest blocker, um, this is really going to be a good play. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this, even though, like I said, I could probably take a couple of easy yards and just go inside. And you can see, like I said, I don't have a ton of speed. I'm so used to having Terry McLaurin when I run this. Uh, it would be a lot easier. But you can see, I mean, I got outside for an easy five. So that's going to be something you can do. One of the other reasons I don't want to run the zone fake J or the uh, the actual uh, RPO or the uh, the actual um, you know inside run here is because based off of the fact that um, there's there's more than one defender there. There's there's three linebackers and then you also have that uh, that cornerback in the direction I'm going. So if I do run this, I'm going to get caught up pretty quick. Plus I know this is a pretty good run defense, so that's not going to be one of your reads necessarily uh, against a formation like this. Now this is perfect. Like I said, the way that they're stacked the box this is something whenever somebody has a tight formation like this and it almost looks like they have a blitzing safety as well this is definitely going to catch them off guard and be an outside a huge outside run like i said i really don't have speed maybe i should switch teams but i'm not gonna i'm gonna stick with this because like i said this is this is this is definitely a great play if you have a faster receiver than Devontae adams he's more of a uh you know that's not really his skill set now something i neglected to mention you can actually switch out uh this receiver with a running back so i actually think that's going to be the best way to go you can run this with a two running back system uh, speed wise I would say the fastest guy and probably the best guy to run this with is going to be my starting running back which who somehow disappeared there he is Aaron Jones right at the top so I guess he's going to be the best bet he's a 91 speed let's see if we have a little bit more success running it with that 
So as far as this is plays concerned, as far as this series concerned, it's really to me uh, between the RPO and the, the fake pass. I use the zone fake jet a little bit, but I like the optionality of the RPO. Now the RPO, I mean, you have multiple options here. It's really going to be best in like an off zone. Like this almost looks like it's like a cover four or something like that. You can really go multiple ways. And then you can see, I mean, I have my running back out here. Obviously, he's the, the highlight reel of the play. He's the star of the play. Um, but I could really go multiple ways. Now, this looks like it's probably a man coverage. I'd probably go with the uh, with the with the fake uh, or with the jet one more time. A lot of times when that cornerback's down like he is there, that's a perfect opportunity to take it up short inside. So, I mean, anytime we have tight box, man coverage, uh, these are all pretty much reads. I pretty much run this against all of them. And then, like I said, a lot of times it's best just to, you don't necessarily want to take it all the way outside like it's telling you to. Now, while the two best plays, in my opinion, are definitely going to be the RPO and the jet pass fake zone, the, the zone fake jet is going to be something that you have to run. If you just run the uh the jet the jet pass fake zone over and over and over your opponent's going to start adjusting to that they're going to start uh basically you know either blitzing somebody this side whatever they're going to basically know what you're doing the second the receiver starts motioning so in that scenario you have to run the zone fake jet just so it keeps them honest it'll essentially keep them from being able to make too many adjustments early on and you can see that you can definitely have success going the opposite way which is going to make it even harder for the user and that's really going to give you the ability to attack both sides of the field, which is also really nice. So if your opponent, especially if your opponent really starts shifting pre-snap towards the jet sweep, that's really going to be helpful. And then you're going to see there's going to be a lot of lanes to be had the other way. Now this play here, obviously, once again, packing that box tight, I can really get outside. I mean, I can get some really big plays. Now when it comes to the RPO, I mean, obviously you still have the run play. You can still make that work. Um, although, like I said, to me, the other run play is better anyway. It goes in the same direction. The RPO is really going to be best against cover three, uh, which is, you know, obviously an off zone where these cornerbacks, they basically play back off the line eight yards and then they drop back immediately. So any cover three, cover four, this is another scenario. I probably would want somebody out there instead of Funchess. Um, to do uh, what he's doing uh, but you could also give yourself a block or two if you motion out this tight end you can have it on both sides by the way which is also really nice I don't think a lot of people would necessarily know that but I mean this is a scenario if you want to motion out the tight end you can you don't have to uh, kind of it can give away the play a little bit but it really doesn't matter considering that the the you can go either way you know what I mean like you can go left or right so it's not like motioning out the tight end is going to do anything other than maybe draw the user in that direction and you just go the opposite way so this is something that you can definitely have success with on either side if they don't follow the motion it makes the receiver side a lot more successful uh, than you know obviously you know because for number one the receiver side might be the better side based off of the fact that you're further away from defenders. The the running back side is a better athlete. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sub Funches, although realistically I I would in game. But you can see he's just further away from the coverage to start. So it's a little bit better to run it to that side rather than the X side, which he's right in the pocket. I have to immediately sprint outside. I'm getting more yards consistently to the receiver side anyway. But they're both just as good. Whether it's cover three, cover four, they're both gonna be really good plays. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. Uh, I'll save the rest of these pass plays for my Patreon on my join now community link in the description below if you want to check that out other than that if you want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me in the comment section and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below